Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a fading image gallery. So let's have a quick look at what it's going to look like. So if we just go into Safari, let's have a quick look. This is the kind of gallery we're going to create where images are fading from one to the other. Now at the moment it's being used on this web page as a sort of part of the banner. But you can use this gallery anywhere on your page. So we're going to look at how to make this kind of effect. So if we head back into Dreamweaver, now what I've done here is on my page is I've created a couple of divs, a wrapper div, which I've then set uh, in my external style sheet that I created. I've set it to have a width of 960 pixels and then I've got it to center on the page by choosing left margin auto and right margin auto. If you're not too sure how to do that, there are other videos that you can go and watch on how to do that. Inside that wrapper div then is a banner div which is nested inside of it. So if we quickly go to code view, you'll see here's the wrapper div and then inside there we have a div called banner. Uh, and it's inside this banner that I want to add my image gallery. So what I'm going to do is I'm working in live view here. I'm going to go to the insert tab and insert an image, making sure that the banner div is selected. So I'm going to nest the first image inside of the banner div. So I'm going to choose my image here and click open. And all of my images have been pre-sized in a graphics program. So if I just quickly explore that with you, I have a folder called images and the images are resized to be 960 pixels by 540. So that's how big I want my gallery to be. And all the images that I'm going to use in this are all exactly the same size. So it's important that you do have your images resized and that they're all the same size before you start this exercise. Okay. So I've got my first image in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that image is selected and then insert another image. So it's going to be several images in this gallery. And I want this one to appear after. So I don't want it to nest. I want it to actually appear after this first image has gone in. So we'll go for this one. And I'm just going to repeat that. So insert an image and nest afterwards. So I want it to go for this one. And we'll just do a few of these and then we'll crack on and look at how to do the gallery itself. Let's pop that one in. And so I'm always choosing the after and then we'll go for the polar bear. And then one more we'll do after the tiger. There we go. So as I scroll up and down my page, we'll just see that I've got all of these images stacked up on top of each other. Okay, so now we're going to use some code to get this to work as a gallery and get the images all to be uh, underneath each other rather than sitting one above each other. If we go to quickly code view, what we'll see here is if I click on the opening banner div tag, you'll see the closing div tag, you'll see that all the images are actually nested inside of there. Go back to live, there's one little thing, I've got some placeholder text here that I had inside my banner div so that I could see it. I need to get rid of that now because the images are inside the banner, I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to double click it and then highlight it and backspace to remove that placeholder text. Okay, for this gallery to work inside your root folder, so my root folder here is called mini project, you need to have this text file called fadinggallery.txt. So that's a very important text file, so make sure you have that inside your root folder. If that is inside your root folder, when you go to files, your files area here in Dreamweaver, you'll see fadinggallerycode.txt. We need to double click that and it's this text file that contains all the code that we need to convert those images into a gallery. So the first piece of code, it's, it's three sections of code and it's split up by these lines. So we've got one section, the second section, the third section. So let's just deal with the first section. The first section is a hyperlink to the jQuery JavaScript library that is hosted on a Google server. So if we're gonna install JavaScript or have a JavaScript feature on our web pages, which is what this gallery is, we need to be using a JavaScript library like jQuery. So I'm just gonna do a Control or Command C to copy that code, go back to my web page, go to code view, and this code needs to go between the head tags. So if I click on my opening head tag, I can see where the closing head tag is. So anywhere between those two is where you can paste the code we've just copied. Now here's my link to my external style sheet. So I'm just gonna click at the end of that and paste this code in after that. And that's the link to the jQuery library. And if I click on my opening head tag, you'll see the closing one, you'll see it sits between those two, so it's in the right place. Okay, next bit to do is to go and copy this code and this is CSS code. 
that is required for this particular gallery to work okay that says here the div must be named banner but we'll come back to that in a moment okay so the div that contains the gallery must be named banner uh, this code if I do a control command C needs to go into my web page but it needs to go into the style sheet that has been attached to the web page so I don't want to be working here on the actual page code I need to go into my CSS file and then paste this code into there so if I do a control command V in goes the CSS code okay so if we just go back into live view what you'll see after that is that the images are no longer stacked one above the other they're all stacked sort of on top of each other behind each other so the images are still there it's just they're all sitting behind this tiger one okay and then the final piece of code is what really gets the gallery to work so I need to copy all of this third section so control command C go back to my web page and this needs to go back to the source code so the actual web page itself its HTML code I'm going to switch to code view so it makes life a little bit easier now this code doesn't go between the head tags it goes before the closing body tag so if I click on my opening body tag you'll see that our closing body tag gets highlighted so it needs to go before that in other words it needs to go just between these two tags so between my closing rapid div tag and the closing body tag so if I click after the closing rapid div tag do a return and then actually I might do a couple of returns just to create some space and I do a control command V I can paste in this text so this code does need to sit just before it needs to be the last thing before the body tag closing tag there okay so we're nearly done at the moment there's one final bit that we need to do and that is this JavaScript is looking for a div called banner well we've got a div here called banner and then it's looking for a class that is applied to the first image and the class has to be dot active so at the moment this image doesn't have the class applied so here's the opening image tag there all the way to the closing so that's the first image obviously there's the second image and so forth so what I'm going to do is just click after IMG uh, do a space and type class equals open your speech marks and then you can type active or you can select active from the list here and then I'm just going to close my speech marks so what did I type in I just typed in that section there okay and that goes inside the very first image just after the IMG tag class equals active okay and that is it it is now ready to play and ready to work so if we just go into live view and then preview in Safari we should have a working gallery We're going to save the page and save the style sheet and here we are in Safari and we should see that the images are going to fade from one to the other so there they go okay so let's have a look at a few things that you might want to change if we go back to code view here in Dreamweaver down here is the interval so this is how long it takes the images to cycle so 4000 equals that they will cycle every four seconds so this is slightly wrong here it says run every seven seconds it will actually be every four seconds if we want the images to cycle through quicker we just change that to say for example 2000 now it will be every two seconds so let's have a little look at that now in Safari and see what the difference is so hopefully these images will cycle through a lot quicker than what they were previously so every couple of seconds and there we have a really nice sort of fading image gallery as we go through okay the other thing is is what if your div that you put these images in okay what if you didn't call it banner but you would called it gallery well that's fine all you'd need to do so if I change my div name here to be gallery okay all I need to do is come to the JavaScript and wherever I saw banner I need to make that gallery so wherever banner appears you need to change that to be gallery as well so there's only two instances of it there but of course I need to do the same in my CSS file as well that I've created up here so wherever I see banner I need to change that to gallery so all of these will go to gallery so that's if you don't have a div called banner and you wanted your div to be called gallery then obviously you need to come and change all of those and if we save that the gallery will still work 
it's just uh, it's now sitting in a div called gallery so that's what you would need to do there and that's how you create a fading image gallery